Hey guys, so the Pier 1 here in town is closing down and I decided to go through and browse and see what was left. And I ran into some really cute Easter wreaths. I thought I was going to remake one of those, but I went a little rogue. So come check out this Easter wreath that we're going to make today and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Here we go. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. Don't forget, I try and link everything I use in the description box, and if I can't link exactly what I used, I'll link something as close as I can get. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, check out some of my previous videos, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Alright, let's get started! I got this willow wreath, and there is a light one also if you prefer the light. I liked the dark. I found these... So I got several of those. They had a couple different colors and so I did get like a yellow one which I then cut up into little pieces and same with the green. So I think those will go nicely together. Dollar Tree also had these um, like floral sets with these sparkly balls on them. There were several colors in those also but these are the ones that I got. The blue might be a little dark so I'm probably going to go with those. But Putting this all together is going to make an amazing Easter wreath, so I hope you'll come along and join me. To get the pieces in the wreath, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of wiggling them in and then bending it a little bit, and I'm trying to do some on the inside, some on the outside, because I don't want them all in one place. I think I need to move this one up. And then you can see here I'm going to move it down and hide it a little bit. I have a tiny piece of floral wire, oops, right there. So if I can't get it to stay just weaved in or it's not in the right spot, then I just go ahead and tie it with a little floral wire and call it good. These do have a little bit of a wire to from about here to here, but they also have the pieces coming off. So if I'm not liking how they're sticking out, then I can either tuck them, like wind them in together, or you can remove them and put them in later. So it kind of depends on what I'm liking. And that's how I'm going with this. Which is what you should always do in your DIYing. So I'm going to grab a little piece of floral wire and I think tie that right there. So I find the easiest way is if you kind of bend it in half anyways. And then it's easier when you're putting it around your piece. And I will also say that I found it very helpful to have needle nose pliers with you too to get a really tight wind. So that's how I'm going to get everything on the frame itself. Alright guys, so here's what our wreath is looking like. Now we got to add some eggs to it. Because, well, I mean, you don't have to add eggs, but for this to be Easter, add eggs. For it to be spring, add flowers. Or do whatever you want because it's your project. I have three eggs here, and they are from the carton that I bought at Target Bullseye section for $3. And I cannot exactly decide what color to use. At first, I wanted to do pink, purple, and blue. And then I thought, um, I'm not loving those colors together. So then I thought maybe I'll do pink, blue, and yellow. But I know that that's like almost the primary colors. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to go that direction, and I know that I do a lot with these three colors, so let me know in the comments below what colors would you be using on yours. And let's get started painting. So as you can see here, I didn't go with any of those colors. I chose, well, I did go with some of them, but I chose a teal, the pink, and the yellow. I just really liked this combination. I thought it went really good with the, um, with the floral sparkles in the background. And I totally forgot to incorporate the purple sparkles as well as the little sparkly balls. I didn't have any blueprint or guidelines for where to put the eggs. I mainly just played around, found where I liked them, and then hot glued them on. I did like using the hot glue. It did melt the styrofoam just a little bit, but it kind of gave it a nice little crevice or flattening spot for it to meet the other eggs or the wreath. So I'm glad I used the hot glue. One more quick note, originally I thought I was going to cut all the eggs in half and then glue them on because then I'd have double the eggs, but I really didn't like how it looked with the cut in half eggs being on the wreath. I just felt like you could tell they were not real eggs, not full eggs, so I didn't do that. I really enjoyed this project and I really think this is super adorable and cute and will be perfect for Easter, which is coming up really fast. Let me know what your Easter plans are in the comments below, as well as what you would do differently in this project. Alright guys, here's a look at the final project. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I can't wait to do another project next time. But until then, bye bye